If you think about the Pryor Mountains, the series of rocks exposed that represent a time in North America when sea level was rising and falling. There were times, including about 300, 350 million years ago, when North America consisted of just a few islands that were sticking up above this vast ocean that were uh, kind of the beginnings of the Appalachian Mountains in the eastern part of, the, of North America. The rest of North America was covered up by water. We see that over and over again, where sea level will rise and sea level will fall. And most of the rocks we see exposed in the priors are times when sea level was relatively high. We tend to, when we accumulate rocks and uh, cause rocks to form and be preserved, those tend to be ocean rocks as opposed to rocks that would form on dry land. The priors are this whole series between about 300, 350 million years ago uh, up until, oh, about 50 or 60 million years ago of this record of this uh, sea level rise and fall. In some cases, the sea level would rise just locally. If we have, for example, a mountain range rise up, that would cause sea level to drop in that general area. And in many cases, it's a worldwide change in sea level. So we see very similar rocks to rocks that we see in the priors of the same age, sort of all across North America and actually across many parts of the Earth. One of the interesting things about the priors now and over the past 50 million years or so compared to the Beartooth Mountains is the Beartooths are actually from very deep in the crust and the priors are from relatively shallow from the upper parts of the earth. And there was two very different styles of pushing on the outer parts of the earth to get those rocks to move up. The Beartooths coming from very deep and the priors from relatively shallow. And it's very interesting to have those very close to each other. You don't see that very often.